Welcome back to Contextual Electronics. This is a video about changing the footprint outline layers, uh, which is useful because the default in KiCad is to add in an outline that actually goes on the silk screen layer. So let's take a look at what this looks like. All right, so we're going to open up our example project, which we used a couple times here for the KiCad videos. Open up PCB New. We have a standard uh, outline here, but we're actually going to go into the module editor which is what this, where this video is located. And what we're going to do is actually create a, so let's actually just pick a library that already exists. I'm going to grab uh, this one, just because it's not a standard library. And then we're going to create a new component in here. We'll call it uh, new layer. Okay, move some stuff out of the way here. Move some stuff out of the way here. All right. All right, so let's just drop some random pins here. Whoa, that was a little too random. <laughs> it just grabs the last one you use. So let's do a through hole, circular, that's fine. Uh, we'll uh, drill, make it a 36 mil, jeez, 36 mil drill. Okay, and then let's actually make this something reasonable. We'll make it a uh, 0 0.72, which is double. Seven two position oh zero seven two sorry <laughs> that makes more sense okay Whew, all right there we go and let's add a couple more pins here just add them in here it doesn't really matter that much now uh, as I showed in some of the other footprint videos we can add text or uh, drawing elements here right so we can draw an outline and this is great you know you can draw a shape. Uh, you know, if this is what your component outline actually looks like, it's great for that kind of thing to have an actual shape there. Uh, so, you know, I've done that for potentiometers, I've done that for USB hubs, uh, relays, everything like that. However, uh, this light blue here is the uh, silkscreen layer. So, what that means is, when you drop this, you know, you assign this footprint in CVPCB, you put this terrible looking footprint into your PCB design, uh, what that means is that this outline is going to be on the silk screen layer. Now normally that's not a big deal, right? So for, you know, like a, a relay, you might actually want that on your silk screen layer. But uh, the, the reason I ran into this problem is sometimes you have, I'm going to draw a secondary example here, I'll erase it later, but say this is the board you're designing it onto, right? There are times where your components hang off the side of the board. And what happens is, you know, this, you know, you'll have your silk screen here, and then whatever's hanging off, no longer shows. It's either going to get made, cut off by the board manufacturer, or it, um, you know, or the you're going to get yelled at by your board manufacturer. Less likely, but usually they'll just chop it off. But it could also run on to the next. You know, if you have a panelized design, it might run on to the next PCB. So uh, what we need to do though is actually go and edit. Uh, this line because it, you also see here there's no way to really select which layer we're drawing on you know we just check we just select this and then we can add in a wide range of different uh, polygons really and that's great you know we want to have that option here but then we don't necessarily always want it on the silk screen layer so uh, we can do this as such we or sorry we mouse over uh, the line itself and you need to mouse over because uh, this you know, of course it's going to show up there the edit uh, context menu is, it has to be near the actual line itself. So we right click, we go to edit, and then we go uh, with, let's just start with changing body item layer. Okay, and now it comes up with the entire, uh, all of the different options here. So we could actually add stuff into the top side copper, bottom side copper, you know, we could, we could go ahead and add that in if we really wanted to. Um, you know, there, there are places for that, but this is not necessarily the case. In this case, we want to just do, uh, go from the sil top side silk screen. We're going to put this on the bottom, or on the Eco 1 layer, which is a auxil generic auxiliary layer. Basically, this won't show up now on the actual uh, board, right? So this one segment will be on the Eco 1 layer. It'll it'll show up when we drop it onto a board, right? So it's, it's in the actual layout drawing, but then when it gets sent to the Gerbers, since you're not actually exporting the Echo 1 layer, Echo 1 layer, uh, this will no longer show up, and I'll just have a break here where it shows in the actual silk screen on board. 
So say we wanted to just uh, maybe want this segment, this segment, and this segment. Uh, that's a possibility, right? Or we can then right click and say, in this case, that didn't work. See, you, gotta, you do have to get right over top of it. There we go. You can say change body item layers for all, and then they can all go green. And now none of these would show up when we export the silk screen. So if you don't understand layers, uh, there's a bunch of other videos about layers, but uh, this is how you specifically change an outline in uh, the footprint editor. You know, we can also do a bunch of other stuff here as well. Um, we have to get over top of it, of course. Hey, come on. You can do it. Oh, right click. Sorry. Uh, we can edit the body item, everything else. So we can change thickness, layer. Uh, this is a more generic view of doing this kind of thing. So it is a possibility. Uh, we could change the, the layer here as well, the width. Uh, so, yep, there are a, uh, a bunch of different options, but in this case, this is changing the layer because that can really affect your, your design. All right, I think that's it. Thanks for watching.